It's time for Into the Outdoors. Here's your guide, Jason Walter. Thanks, Finley. I can't pretend to know everything, but did you know there's an opposite to the albino? A few of our favorite content providers, like Meat Eater, have recently shared a story from Facebook. Texas Parks and Wildlife Department biologists spotted an incredibly rare all-black fawn during routine wildlife surveys in the Trans-Picos Wildlife District. The black mule deer's color is a result of a condition known as melanism, and it causes a genetic mutation that leads to an overproduction of the dark brown to black pigment melanin. Melanism in deer is said to be the rarest of rare, especially in mule deer, one in at least a million, even though there have been reports in 29 states. In case you're curious, albino deer are rare too, but the numbers are not as astronomical at 1 in 20 to 30,000 and some sources say 1 in 100k. Here's an interesting tidbit though. These mutations seem to occur more often in certain areas. The National Deer Association says the Edwards Plateau ecological region just east of the Trans-Picos holds the highest known concentration of melanistic whitetails, while an area in Wisconsin gets the nod for the most albino sightings. Maybe the melanistic mutation in the animal kingdom is super rare because an all-black animal or bird just doesn't stand out and draw attention like the ghostly albino. That's In Through the Outdoors with Jason Walter. Check us out at jasonwalter.lol. One of my favorite new places to browse online is survivalfrog.com. I wouldn't consider myself a survivalist or a prepper, but I love survival frog. First aid kits, car kits, survival kits, food and water, cool gadgets, and all kinds of stuff for camping too. Get this, the Quadra Pro solar power bank with wireless and dual USB charging is less than 80 bucks. Prepare, survive, live. Check it out at chasingwalter.lol when you click on Survival Frog.